Hello, my name is Frank Schollmeyer, part of the Dublin Operation for Valen. I'd like to introduce you to Valen's capabilities for rebuilding and repairing aviation fuel nozzles. Valen has a full capabilities valve and repair facility in Dublin, California. As part of our service, we offer inspection and rebuilding of valves to aviation standards. We have a hydro test stand here that is capable of reaching 3,250 PSI. We also offer on-site repair and pickup of valves, and we handle valves that are out of the area by having them shipped directly to our facility. We have quick turnarounds, and generally we can rebuild the valve in one to two days for you. Here's an example of a typical nozzle that comes into our shop. Now, this one is that one that's already been repaired by us once before because of the yellow paint, you can tell. But an example is, is the boss here. This is the first thing we look at to see if this nozzle can be repaired. I would say 30% of the nozzles we get in cannot be rebuilt. You know, what happens is these are, they fuel the airplane and then they take the hose and drop it on the ground and then they drag it with a power winch across the ground and it scrapes this metal off. When it's gone, can't be rebuilt. In some cases, for an example, this one right here, we are able to weld a new boss on here, but generally by the time you do that, it is not worth doing it and you should probably just rebuild a whole nozzle or get another body. These are the typical components that we see inside of a valve. And you need, every one of these needs to be cleaned and inspected before it can be reassembled. For example, there's a strainer here on the inlet side that is very important, that has to be intact and in working order. We do all of that, put it all through a blaster if needed, clean all the grime off, and then we start the reassembly procedure with a full set of repair parts. Now that we have disassembled the valve, cleaned all the components, repaired any worn parts, put in all the rebuilt elastomeric parts, we then have a completed valve assembly again. So this is what the complete nozzle looks like. At this point, we put our pressure testing rig on it and we pressure test this nozzle for 80 PSI for five minutes. If it passes that test, then it is ready to go. Once the nozzle is tested, here's what it looks like complete. Our paint on it, a safety cover on it, which is required by law, and here is a completed nozzle. Once that is done, we then bag it and tag it. And the tag indicates what type of test we did, an air pressure test to 80 PSI for five minutes, and this is a completed valve, and this is how we deliver them back to the customer. As I mentioned earlier, we rebuilt and uh, added some new state-of-the-art equipment to the Dublin facility. As part of that, we also added a 20-person training room here in Dublin. So as part of our nozzle rebuild program, we will actually bring your people in here and actually show them how to rebuild their own nozzles as a service that we offer. I really want to thank you for your time and we'll remind you that we are a full valve and nozzle rebuild facility. We do full fueling skids, repair of nozzles, and most other components that go into aviation fueling. Thank you.